very important i found two scriptures that i'm going to share with you now may these scriptures bless you in jesus name Amen. proverbs chapter 22 we'll look at verse 2 and then we'll go to verse 7 look at this frightening scripture if you are not frightened at this scripture see a doctor because it means something is wrong with your psychology this scripture should frighten anybody who is healthy and strong ready the rich and the poor meet together where do they meet in this earth that's the stage the lord is the maker of them all not the maker of them so the maker of them all the lord made them as humans they separated themselves into rich and poor and all on the same earth go to verse 7 the rich we're talking dominion now there is a mystery that exists in the earth that the rich will always rule over the poor and that the borrower will always be servant to the lender the rich unbeliever will rule over the poor prayer warrior is a law the rich anyone will rule over the poor anyone so the way to keep men in servitude therefore is not to make them slaves but to extract resources from them next scripture genesis 42 Genesis 42 ready we're going to read verse 2 together I'll read verse 1 no just go to verse 1 now when Jacob saw that there was what corn where it is dangerous when the only place where there is corn is Egypt because Egypt is an antichrist system Egypt is a place that God's covenant people should not be in unfortunately that is the only place where there is corn and Jacob said to his sons why do ye look upon one another verse 2 please read with me if you're a Christian ready read and he said behold uh -huh, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may leave a prophet dies when there is no corn although you are a prophet this is how Egypt went into slavery pastor every time believers are needed to go into slavery satan does not say become slaves he does something to the economy to make sure there is only bread in egypt and even jacob will push his future and say go to egypt where they will go and remain slaves this issue of prosperity is not an issue of cars or houses prosperity is a weapon of war understand this if all you say about prosperity is money and affluence you have missed it prosperity is a time redemption strategy we are mandated to redeem time because the days are evil so the issue of wealth is not about houses and cars it's a spiritual system that provides an anchor for the gospel a 33 year old body belonging to the son of the living god is hanging on a tree pastor nathaniel no prayer warrior could bring that body down no fasting giant could bring that body down it took a man of wealth and influence called joseph of arimathea to use his wealth for the tomb and his influence to caesar to say i need this body the gospel will suffer when there are no protectors of the same even with their resources it took the gospel to bring christ from the cross to a tomb to the grave where he won victory and resurrected for us Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 17 says cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad and then I will yet comfort Zion it is important that we prosper make it a goal to not be poor this has nothing to do with the 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 carnality that is around wealth please win your mind i know that most teachings around wealth have just been a massaging of the lust of men but there is an intentional intelligence behind the desire for wealth i will never lead the people who are spiritual but weak pastor we will need resources the weight of god is heavy it takes resources to keep him lifted 
it's amazing how many books would have changed the world today but resources poverty is a weapon it can strangle the name of christ such that a generation will never hear that name but in the name of jesus this generation we will not only be talkers we will have the resources to move systems and make things happen for his majesty